And while we're here, let's see if that Korok is here. If I missed out on getting it, I'm gonna be so mad. I don't know why that's the case, but whatever. stones there. Imagine if he killed the old man. Is that possible? Must find out. Pretty strong. Don't mind me, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, see that? That is where these come in handy. See if we can throw it from here. Ooh, not this. This. Yep. No. Okay. I will jump. I did not jump. Okay, I throw it from here. I can go up here. I like that the Koroks stay there. Oh, cute. Dang. We get right above it then. Probably should have dropped it. I love music next to the temple time. There we go. Nice. Opal. Pretty sure that way is the easiest way of getting to the other shrines. But it's very wintry up there. So, so dang, lag is really bad. Yeah. Let's go get those peppers. So I can make a recipe. That'd be very helpful. Oh, no. <laughs> Spicy pepper. Let's take out one before we head down there. If I miss, I might hit that guy. Oh dang. Okay. Hi. Dang, calm down. Those guys were the first enemies I ever fought when Actually, no, they weren't. They were the first enemies to kill me. You know, that's for sure. In my um, other playthrough. How much does this do? This is another spear. Two. Oh, I can pick it up. Nice. Pot lid. It's not very good. I can pick it up. Mushrooms and more peppers. Nice. Steak, mushrooms, good stuff. 
and less decent cooking. So I could use one of my fire arrows, but they're kind of hard to get in the beginning of the game. So that's why we get torches. Oh, oops. I can just take this fire. And light this one. Easy. No, I don't want to do that. Let's do some cooking. Uh, with spicy peppers. Let's try five of them. Spicy sauteed peppers. That's 12 minutes and 30 seconds of cold resistance. That's like more than enough. But I know it's going to take a while for me to get cold clothes. So let's make a couple of these. Oops, I just ate that. I can't. Oh wait, no I didn't. Nice. That's convenient. Now I'll use the other peppers to make some kind of a spicy omelet or something. Hmm. Let's try this and these. Spicy pepper steak. Nice. Let's do a mushroom omelet. Melt a shroom, a green mushroom that grows new trees in the forest. It's chock full of natural energy. Pretty sure this is for stamina, yeah. Let's make a mushroom omelet with two of these. In case we need it. It's always good if you're climbing and you might fall. Yeah, that'll be helpful. This and this. Nice. <laughs> I don't remember what recipes we could do with this. Let's try with apples. <laughs> Energizing honeyed apple. That would be pretty good. It's like a caramel apple, but honey. Pretty sure we can cook with this too. Stealth. So that's good. Uh. Oh, so if we wanted to bring up the amount of hearts it, it heals, you would use this. Okay. Nice. Now I'm pretty sure you can't eat monster parts. They're for potions, I believe. I will keep that in mind and head up into the winter. I'm not gonna eat the peppers yet. I'm gonna wait until I get actually cold. See the little bar uh, in the bottom right? That'll tell me what my temperature is. Oh, and it's too cold. <laughs> the temperature is getting dangerously low. Find warmth soon or you'll take damage. Thank you. Oh, so these ones are special and they do too. I'll start with this. Let's go. Oh, the winter music. It's so nice. Is that alive? Let's find out. Oh, you can do some cooking there. That's convenient. Cork leaf. I will take that in a minute. Uh, search. So, these are good for making artificial wind. Let's drop this. 
pick up uh, pick up this coral leaf. Oh, also lighting fires helps with the winter, but I'd much rather just eat peppers. So yeah, I think it would be easiest to swim over to the rock, but there's like a current. Oh wait, Ooh. dang! Why did I die? I wasn't paying attention. It's either from too cold or I didn't have enough stamina. Well, let's pick this up again. Uh, this. Let, let me. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't leave yet because it's a bunch of wood. Get this first. And I could probably. I think I need something bigger. Yeah, suit steak. Okay. Let's use that. It's not very good for fighting, but floating air. Definitely a good one. So I'm pretty sure it's just too cold for me. What do I do then? Oop. Let's see if this gives me something. So I know I can swim. What's the problem here? I don't, I don't want to die again. I don't want to be on that boat. Hmm. Maybe I should just eat my double spicy peppers? Might as well try now. Because I'm going to die if I don't. It's just super cold. Holy moly. Okay. Don't jump into the ice water. Almost saved here. Did I get the chest yet? Yep. Nice. It's kind of dangerous to jump on these. How do I get over easily? Oh, dang. That's so cold. Holy crap. Well, I thought I could take the boat over. But it looks like that's not going to be an option. So let's walk. Should probably equip an actual weapon. Nice. Acorns. Well, that is like an enemy base. Dang, scared me. Well, I forgot about that. White choo choo jelly. Dang, don't hit me. Nice. Thanks for taking my choo choo jelly. So even though they were turned into water, it didn't affect their element with the choo choo uh, jelly. What's up here? Those are strange trees. Why are they lined up like that? Probably a core up. I'll come back. Oh, 
be alive. I think we're good. Oh. Collect. Okay, so... Dangerous. Hi. Oh, no, no, stop. Oh, that makes no sense. Is it safe? I'm gonna find out. Okay. Yeah, there's chests at the top. Ooh, and a blue boat boat goblin. Boat goblin? Boat 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 goblin. I don't remember. Must have been easier to go to the right. Guess I'll climb. What's that noise? Weird noise, what the heck? Whoa. Dang. Oh. Hi. I think I know what I'm gonna unlock in this this next one. Cryonis trial. This is a pretty cool one. Very helpful. Cryonis, create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Build ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use cry Cryonis on an ice pillar to break it. You can do like three at a time or something. Sounds cool. 
Oh dang, I still have my cold resistance, that's annoying. It's a good thing I made lots. See, so just do this. Oh, well, probably should have done it closer. It's fine. Whoa! And like here, you just do this. Strong. You gonna fight something? Yep. Just quickly. Oops. Dang. Is that a good hit in time? was not what I was hoping for. That's fine. Still works. Whoa. Super puzzle. Oh dang, I gotta go back. Traveler's Spear. Puzzle music. Is that it? Guess so. That's number three. I believe there are just four, so... Okay. I've got three minutes on my cold resistance. Let's head to the red marker. That's not safe. Oh, and I can use this now. Let's go ahead and get the chest. Dang. No, don't kill me. Let me up. Dang. Whoa. Let me eat something. Stick. I'd fall in. Let me up. Bruh. <laughs> How cold does that water have to be? Goodness sakes. Dang. Oh, nice. I don't have to do it again. Okay. Straight this way. Nice and warm. What? Is oh, dang. I don't know how those even start. Is there something in them? That one's rolling down. Probably a Korok at the top of the peak. Mm. Ice keys. Look at all of that to unlock. I love open world games like this. 
adventuring and finding new areas. It's my favorite type of game. If I could do it in real life, that'd be top notch. I'd obviously be terrified to actually fight, but it's part of something I actually want to do. What is that? Oh, it's just ice on the tree. Nice. New shroom. Silent shroom. Seven seconds. Let's eat another one. That works even better. Nice. Hmm. Look at that. You try and be sneaky. I don't know if it's worth taking them out. Much more health. It's crazy. Oh, nope. <laughs> Spike the Boko Shield. Nice. Oh, I took it up. No, no, not the button. Hi. These are slightly better weapons, like Boku Club. It's good. Oh, there's a chest. It was worth it. Let's see what's in it, though. Amber, nice. Why are the rocks there? Hmm? <laughs> That's all. I'm gonna push this one. Ding. Oh no. Took care of him. Can I jump down there? Try from here. Nice. Where's the chest? Did I blow it up? No. Oh, that's annoying. There. I actually need some of these. Let me drop this and this. These are 
Five, yeah. Give me. Where is... Usually it's pretty hard to get up here, but I took that way. Oh, bruh. Okay. Pretty sure this is the last one. Please. So excited to unlock everything again. Stasis trial. This one's a super good one. Just the hand moving on its own. <laughs> it's trying to grab my bum. Stasis. Stop the flow of time for an object. Stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of stored energy can move even the largest of objects. Yeah, super helpful. In this case, you can stop the cog and then just walk across. Ooh. Pretty sure you can stop the ball. Stop it right here. Oh dang. I, it has a countdown. Oh great, of course. Okay, I can uh, No, let me through. Oh. Let's run. Traveler's shield, goodness sakes. That's a four. Drop on these. Pick that up. Nice. Okay, let's wait. This is great for getting ores. Iron sledgehammer. But I need to drop something first. And that is gonna be a hand. Nope. It's also helpful for this. All right. I just love watching the hand move. That's so funny. Give me my freaking glider. With this, you have new- uh, you have now- <laughs> six. You have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. <laughs> oh ho ho, extraordinary. <laughs> that means it's finally time. Link, 
It's finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Hmm. Imagine an X on your map, with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Bro, give me my glider. Do you understand? Where two lines connect... Uh, where... We're two lines connecting. Okay. <laughs> Man, this guy's annoying. Dang. Uh. Right, I can teleport. Kind of forgot. So it's at the temple of time. Clearly. So, let's go from here. I love the night time in this game. So pretty. Right, Temple of Time, here I come. Now I have to climb up the ladder and the cutscene will actually start. The old man is gone. Dang, the moon is so bright. Where is it? Where's the moon? Oh, it's the sun. The light mechanics don't make too much sense, but it's okay. Well, they hit you with your own arm. Yeah, I'll take that. All day. Oh, so now I can do that. Okay. That makes sense. Let's see if I can get more arrows. Let's see if one of these. Dang. Okay. Special. <clears throat> you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears that you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. I think I'm going to start with the heart container because I keep dying. You wish for another heart container, yes? Yes, get ready for this music. I shall grant the power you seek. Best. Now I have four hearts. Thank you. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. I shall. Whoa, calm down. <laughs> the blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Mm. Here I am. Get up here, quickly. That guy's obviously spirit. See the, like, spirit things surrounding him? Orbs? I freaking love these blue flowers. 
want them in real life. It's just a nice vase of blue flowers. Probably exists. I'm ready for my glider, bro. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosporamus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule, a kingdom which no longer exists. Sad. King Brolin or something. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age-long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess was. set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestor's path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The Champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the Kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. 
However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you it's will Kakariko? find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. I have been calling it Kakariko Village. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Go on. Here's the paraglider, just as I promised. Yes. Press X while you're in the air to use it. Easy. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Sad. Destroy Ganon. All right, let's go. I'm just kidding. Seek out Impa. Who knows? I'm probably saying that wrong too. All right. Well, I have my hang glider. I think the outro would be nice if I was just gliding down. Yep. 